Hi, I'm Gina Robert with Electronic Musician Magazine and eMusician.com. I'm here with the first episode of Mod Squad, and I have with me right here the Metasonics R54 Super Module Mark II. The Super Module is part of the Metasonics Eurorack format that includes uh, tubes, vacuum tubes. This one in particular includes the 19K G8 triode pentode and the 6AK5 pentode, as you can see right here. We've got four controls, two pitch CV inputs, a VCA input, and an audio input. This bandpass filter can act both uh, as a filter and an oscillator. The Metasonics R54 Super Module Mark II is what has been described as a Veenbridge bandpass filter. That's a two-pole bandpass filter that is resonant. And in this case, as you can see, that allows it to become an oscillator. We can turn up a little bit of resonance here. Hear how it sounds. And depending on where we set the output and the overdrive level, we can get different tonal characteristics. And here's the master tuning control. If we tune it down, you can hear it starts to become unstable is unusual for your typical resonant filter, especially when you turn it right to where the cutoff is of the resonance. You can get it to click, which can be very nice depending on what you're looking for. We decide that we're going to drive it with a CV. Just patch one in and see where it goes. Right away, you get that Metasonics unpredictability and also that rich tone. another CV to it and see what happens here. Let's see what we got here. So that's the module in its resonant, self-resonant form. Got a lot of potential there, and again, depending on where you set things, you can get a lot of different tonal variations. But that's not all it does. Let's check out the sound of the R54 as a bandpass filter. I'm running a square wave into it for my VCO, and I'm driving that square wave uh, with a randomized voltage. So we'll add a little bit of tone here. So I've got the resonance the master tuning, sort of basic position. Let's add a little bit of resonance to the tone. We bring the tuning control down. You can hear how the sound becomes very unstable. This is the kind of thing that I like with the Metasonics modules is when you get the uh, tubes in just the right place, they start to add very interesting rhythmic content. Now if we drive the VCA with a pulse coming from another module, we might be able to get something even more interesting. Nope. Takes away the interesting characteristics. Let's unplug it. There we go. Add some stability. Again, the tuning knob gets even weirder. You can 
here, right in that sweet spot right there, you get some really great sounds. Now there's a harsh control which adds, uh, puts a little bit of feedback loop into the circuit. And once we crank that up, it'll tweak the sound a little bit more. drive it a little bit with another CV. All right, the module started to take over. Let's see where it goes. All right, as you can see, the super module can get really weird really quickly. So now that we're in uh, bandpass filter mode, we are filtering our oscillator here, our VCO, and I'll turn up the volume here. We can animate the sound a little bit with some control voltages to control both the uh, filter resonance and the master tuning. tweak them to find the right amount of sound. Let's drive the VCA so I'll give it a little uh, rhythmic punch. And we can dial in the amount of, um, of that VCA using this overdrive level. Wipe it out completely or give it a little bit of more of a definition. And then we can get the master tuning here to give it a little poppiness. And now if we want to add some of the resonant characteristics and also add some instability, we can use the uh, wave shape filter resonance control. Dial that in. And you really don't have to turn the, do the knob very far because the slightest little turn will change the, the behavior of the tubes in such a way that you can get these really interesting sounds that evolve. If you can get right on the edge of falling apart, it'll actually add some extra rhythms to it. I'm going to crank it up a little bit here. Maybe open up a little bit with the tuning knob. You get a very squelch if you want as well. And this is where we can also flip in the harsh control and add a little bit of feedback in the circuit. It'll boost the level a little bit and add some more of the uh, instability depending on where we have the knob set. Kind of like where it drops out right there, so I'm going to find that again. I'll take the harsh control out, flatten it out a little bit, and then we can adjust the gain to get the right sort of sound here. So as you can see, the module has quite a range of timbral capabilities once you start adding control voltages. On its own, the resonant characteristics can also uh, influence the sound in a really nice way. Sometimes you'll be working with the controls and all of a sudden it'll start resonating and taking over the patch and it's very nice indeed when it does that. So you just have to take some time with this one and allow your patches to evolve and mutate and eventually come into a sound that you didn't know the modules were capable of. For more information about the R54 Super Module and other modular synthesizer parts, please check Electronic Musician Magazine and emusician.com. I'm Gina Robert. We'll see you next time.